Welcome to Ample Hills Creamery here in Gowanus, Brooklyn. I'm Brian Smith, I'm the co-owner, and today we're gonna make ooey gooey butter cake ice cream. Come on inside and be sure to take a look around. Ooey gooey butter cake. This is one of our top flavors of all time. We've had it from the very beginning. We developed our own recipe for our own ooey gooey butter cake that we make from scratch. The first step in making ooey gooey butter cake is to make the base, the cake layer. It's a really dense, chewy cake layer. And then once that's done, all that gets baked in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. If you can avoid eating it before it cools down, then we freeze it, get it nice and stiff, so that it can be chopped up into a million little pieces. It's the hardest thing of all to chop because it's ooey gooey butter cake, so it sticks to itself. So we use a lot of powdered sugar, and that powdered sugar is getting constantly tossed around the pieces as it's getting chopped. All the flavors at Ample Hills start in the vat pasteurizer. This is a 100 gallon vat pasteurizer, and we have to cook our base, our ice cream base. And that's made up of whole milk, heavy cream, skim milk powder, organic cane sugar. Uh, and then we use uh, egg yolks, because the egg yolks serve as an emulsifier and help thicken the base. All of those ingredients get mixed together and cooked in the pasteurizer, and they come up to 160 degrees, and they hold there for 30 minutes. So that mix is sat in our refrigerator overnight, and we have to actually make this into ooey gooey butter cake ice cream. We have to add vanilla extract, and then we have to add three pound bricks of cream cheese. That cream cheese gets immersion blended into the sweet cream base. When all of that's nice and blended together, the ice cream base is done. And so now it gets poured into the batch freezer and it will churn for about 12 minutes and turn from a liquid into a solid, incorporating air as it goes. As the ice cream comes out of the batch freezer, that's when we get to incorporate the ooey gooey cake pieces. We manually shake those in and layer them in. It's not called Ample Hills for nothing. We like to load a lot of mix-ins in. After the ice cream comes out of the machine as soft serve, then it goes into the freezer overnight into our negative 30 degree blast freezer. And then it goes into our dipping cabinet. It's set at around zero to five degrees, a temperature that you can actually scoop it, stick it on a cone and eat it. We're really interested in making the best flavors of ice cream possible. Our philosophy is to not take ourselves and ice cream too seriously. We find it far more important to tell stories about the flavors of ice cream 